So what we're showing is a test of ion storage capability with uh, solid state NAND flash storage in a SAN that's accessible from a Windows Server 2012 test machine. We're going to be using Iometer to perform a number of tests comparing the performance of the uh, solid state storage on the SAN against a local hard drive on the system. The, uh, there are two targets we're going to be using. One is uh, mounted as eDrive, which is the local uh, um, disk on the machine. It's a 15,000 RPM SAS drive, so it's relatively high performance for a physical disk. Drive G is our target on the SAN, and it is a 200 gigabyte uh, partition on a NAND flash storage device. It's accessed through a single 4 gigabit per second uh, uh, fiber channel interface. We've set the uh, queue depth to 64, which is a, a fairly real-life uh, number for a heavily worked system. We're going to be running a number of uh, different access specifications on Iometer. I should point out that there are uh, 12 workers here. It's uh, one per core in the system. Um, so we'll be running a number of different access specifications. Um, and they simulate different kinds of workloads. Uh, a fairly common workload for a um, transaction database server would be a smaller block size, so something like a 512 byte block, and then a, a roughly 50-50 distribution of read and write. Um, depending on the application, that can be higher or lower, but we'll just pick a number in the middle for the moment. And uh, transaction databases tend to be very random traffic. So we have uh, this uh, test set up, and then what we'll do is start the test and we can see oh I'm starting in the wrong order I'm starting the uh, the fast one first so we're gonna dub that one out <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna start the test actually with the the uh, physical hard drive should do all of the tests in that order um, so we're going to uh, we're going to select the 512 byte um, access specification and we're going to start the test against the physical hard drive. This is probably showing the physical hard drive in its worst light. Uh, the random access causes the head to move around substantially and the, uh, the smaller block size and uh, um, random sequencing um, really tests the, the physical uh, limits of the drive. So you see, we see numbers well below 1,000 input-output operations per second. The bandwidth is uh, sub-megabyte, and the response time is almost a tenth of a second. So we let that run for a little bit to stabilize, and we see we converge in on a number just a little over 600 input-output operations per second. So if we stop that test, and now let's take that same test and target it at our NAND flash storage. Now we see a substantial performance improvement. So we're, um, the total IOPS will vary up and down a little bit over uh, a few minute period while it stabilizes, uh, but we're already at approximately the number you'd expect to see, which is around 50,000 input output operations per second which is a roughly 80-fold improvement over a physical hard drive. Keeping in mind, this is just a single target in the uh, um, SAN as well, so we're doing a roughly you know, one-for-one -one comparison on the drives, and we're seeing 25 megabytes per second at that small block size random input-output, and a uh, response time uh, of roughly a third. So this is a substantial improvement. So let's look at that same physical hard drive again and run a couple of these other tests. So far more resembling a large scale file write access. So we're gonna use a 64K block with 100% write and totally sequential. So this should actually show the physical drive in a very good light as uh, if the head doesn't have to move around, you can stream data fairly quickly onto a SAS drive. And we see here we're getting uh, um, 2400 IOPS 
IOPS isn't necessarily what you'd want to measure uh, in this sort of test, though, because you're dealing with uh, streaming data onto the system. And so really what you're looking for is how fast you can do that, typically measured in megabytes per second or megabits. So we'll let that run for a little bit, and we see we're, we're achieving around 130 uh, megabytes per second onto the physical hard drive. If we take that same test and target it now at our uh, solid state storage and start this test up, we see that we're getting a number that's uh, roughly three times uh, what we saw for the physical hard drive. Should be noted though that the um, if you look at the uh, total megabytes per second right now, it's 392 megabytes per second. That's over a single four gigabit fiber channel interface. So in fact, what we're seeing here is that the fiber channel is uh, is really introducing the the limitations on this. The drive itself is uh, capable of substantially higher performance, and through um, multipathing or higher speed interface technologies, you can achieve uh, uh, tremendous bandwidth into the solid state. So let's just take a look at one other test here, which is a, uh, a little bit more resembling of a, of a Windows typical workload. Um, it's perhaps a little heavy on the read, but we're using a 2K block size, which is default for, uh, for Windows, uh, for depending on how the drive is formatted, of course. Um, we are, however, looking at this as random. So this will be a test that's um, you know, a, a Windows uh, email system or something like that. So we start this test on the physical hard drive. And we see on the physical hard drive, um, we're seeing that, again, sub-1000 IOPS uh, performance. Um, it's uh, um, The performance of the physical hard drive actually shouldn't vary terribly much because uh, uh, the 2K block size is somewhat um, working to its optimum. Uh, for performance. We see we get a little over a megabyte per second. So although the access time is uh, still lengthy, um, we're getting uh, you know, moderately good performance out of the physical hard drive, although nowhere near um, its you know, capabilities in any one area, but this is fairly typical for Windows. So if we run that same Windows workload against a, uh, uh, our solid state target, And we see we get a, again, very substantial performance improvement. So this is approximately uh, what we're around 700. So this is about a uh, 70 times performance improvement over the, uh, the physical hard drive. So access time is substantially lower. Um, input output operations per second is uh, a lot higher. And we're running, uh, oh, it's uh, over 80 times uh, the uh, megabytes per second of the physical hard drive. So that, in a nutshell, is iometer testing comparison between a physical hard drive mounted directly on a server uh, against a solid-state SAN device.